for today. I want to speak to y'all about how I became 5%. Um, an active participant within the 5% nation. That's what I mean by that. Um, there was a time in my life when I was going to church. Initially, I started going with my parents. And then they stopped going. But I used to go to Sunday school from 9 to 11 and then go to church services from 11 to 3 with uh, a lunchtime intermission between 1 and 2 or 12 and 1. But, you know, I became an altar boy. I used to be rocking out with the preacher and the pastor and all that. So then all of a sudden, um, growing up in Eden War Projects, you know, it was a journey. Like, you know, anybody who heard about Eden War Projects is a real place where people do real things. You feel me? Um, so, um, one day I went outside with my parents because I grew up in a two parent household. And I'm just thankful that I had that balance of having my, my father and my mother. But, um, my father was a, a working dude. Like, he wasn't into hustling and all that, but my father was like probably six foot two, six foot three, you know, come six one, but he was like 210 pounds or whatever. And like, his demeanor was mostly serious. He's a laugh and joke sometimes, you know what I mean? If, especially if he saw you or something, but otherwise he'd go to work and do his shit, take care of his family. And at that time, my mother, you know, she got college degrees and, you know, she was doing her thing, but because of health purposes, but not at that time, but I think she was just a stay at home wife for a little while at that time while my father was doing the main providing, right? So, um, we had went out one day and my dad got into a physical confrontation. I actually happened to be there and, um, he got like severely injured, but not at that time. He got severely injured that time, but it took him 10 days to return to the physical essence of life. So I was a young child. So I had asked Jesus and ordered him like, save my dad, like, please, I'll be going to church five times a week and I'll be staying for like five hours at least every day. Like, you know what I mean? And then my dad, ended up dying 10 days later on my brother's birthday or physically returning to the essence, right? So right there, I was like, I ain't fucking with Jesus no more, none of that. I don't believe in God, none of that no more, right? So I was, you know, just soul searching for a couple of months. And then I ran into these brothers on the train. They was like, we the inside our community and all that. And then I remembered them from Temple number seven in Harlem because I grew up in Harlem on 119 and I used to be with my godmother on 118th Street. So um, I used to go down there 116th and see Crescent Moon and all that, you know what I mean? And the temple, brothers out there with the bean pods, bow ties. So I remembered that situation. So getting back to the brothers on the train, I started buying the um, final call and checking it out. But it just wasn't grabbing me like that. I was learning some knowledge and wisdom from it, but it wasn't grabbing me like that. So one day I went into my projects. Well, not went into my projects, but I was walking through my projects and I seen some older brothers who I had initially knew most of them as the gangster dudes in my projects. You feel me? they really didn't have knowledge itself. And yo, rest in peace to the God Latik because a younger brother by the name of Latik from Edenwalk, he got gobbled up when he was like a young age and he went to like some reform school or some child jail, you know, or whatever. And he came back with knowledge itself and he's the first one I ever seen in Edenwood that knew knowledge itself. And, 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 and Lati, 
he got returned to the physical essence of life. He got killed up. But um, he was one of my peers. Um, I remember his name was Michael Beer, his government. So anyway, he went um he went upstate or whatever, and when he came back, he had a, a leather flag. I was like, oh shit. Like he had a big universal flag about this big, but it was leather. And they had like, you remember them things people used to make the box and the cobra and there's like some little string shit that you give in the community center or the girls used to be doing it. Not the knit and crochet shit, but it's it's like some little cord shit that you make. The box and the cobra. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Get in the comments, tell me what it is. But anyway, Latik came with that shit wrapped around some leather and it had a universal flag and it was beautiful. And I just grasped to it when I first seen it. Even though I don't have knowledge itself, I still eat pork at that time. I ain't know none of that shit. So I was like, oh, that's dope. Let me touch it. He was like, nah, that's my universal flag. He's like, I'm God and da da da. So he disappeared for a little while. Well, I was doing my shit or whatever. So I guess he met the older dudes in my projects that was the goonie goons and he helped civilize a lot of them. So then I was walking by and he was building, which I know now to be building, but at that time I didn't. You know how like the Wu Tang's it? But he'd be like, peace, God, is that the God? Come here, let's build. You know what I mean? What's today's mathematics? So they was building on today's mathematics or whatever. And um, I ended up going over there. And I was just wiretapping on their conversation like the feds. You know what I mean? But, you know, I was seeing it from a distance. Even though I knew them. And they knew my dad and shit. Because most of them was 10 years older than me. 5 years, 7, 9 years older than me, whatever. So I'm like, I was keeping my business. So they was like, yo, young God, come here. I'm like, what, you talking to me? Nigga, call me God. Like, <laughs> I walked over there, and I was like, um, they was like, yo, you know the black man's God. You know you God and some other stuff. So at, they didn't give it to me at that time like I got it now. Like, listen to me. God is the spiritual essence within inside of yourself. So you got a spirit inside of your body. A lot of people look at their body and they think that they are the body. You're not the body. You're the spirit that's inside the body and that's the God within you. You know what I mean? Like if they cut your body open, they're not gonna see your spirit, but the spirit has signed the soul contract and you came to him physical existence in the third dimension. The third dimension is earth because earth is the third planet. It's 93 million miles away from the sun and um, it's things in 3D here, you feel me? But you got other dimensions that you can explore on the spiritual plane and on the soul plane, you feel me? Cause they got soul travel and astral travel. And if y'all know about soul travel and astral travel, check out this video right here, you feel me? Or right there, I'll put it somewhere on the screen. But um, yeah, anyway, so I went over there and he was telling me the black man's God and this and that. So I'm like, I right, I spent off on him. So then when they see me again, like I felt it so hard. And then I ended up getting the lessons from this dude named Justice. His government name was Jeffy. He gave it to me, but he didn't know it. He just gave me knowledge is one, wisdom is two, and etc. You feel me? But he didn't know it. So then I ended up getting with my brother Justice, who ended up getting some lessons from somebody else. And me and him really got together utilizing the mathematics and, you know, still sharp and still. So me and Just kept each other's mad sharp and we kept my brother Freedom and everybody around us who was sharp because we was young bulls and we was the... It's no thing as a young God, but you know, we say young God in that terminology because God is God. But we were young bulls and we just was running around challenging people's math, the older gods and all that. And um, it's just a glorious thing because I was doing some things in my life. We used to be jokes and, and you know, doing all kind of crazy. I ain't gonna get into it, but we did 
things, man. And I'm talking about a young age, especially growing up in Eden War, just being the people who we were and being in a certain circumference and surroundings. So I'm saying that to say the beauty of getting knowledge of yourself is one, you accumulate facts, you explore things on a different horizon, you see things from a different horizon. Once you choose to do that, you acquire a degree of discipline and you dealing whatever lessons you're dealing with is guiding you on your growth and development because remember, 120 lessons is only the fundamental growth, the fundamentals for your growth and development. You feel me? Supreme Mathematics, Supreme Alphabet, the 12 Jews of Islam, bless the Father, he was a genius for giving us our own language and our own culture and our own origin back, like knowledge of it. And then shout out to Elijah and WF Muhammad or WD Farad for implementing the student enrollment, which is the one in 10, the one in 14, the one in 36 and the one in 40 and the actual facts and solar fact. But remember, that's just basic fundamentals for your growth and development. You still have to explore different genres such as psychology, sociology, physiology, astrology, biology, and so on, so on, different literature, esoteric science. And yo, you gotta keep building because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has said, seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. So if you seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave, you'll be a very wise person. And if you utilize these skills and principles that you learn and you engage and show supreme equality and share them with other people so you can see their growth and development, it'll be like, yo, you watering the plant and putting sun on it at the same time and that'll grow, man. And let each one teach one. We gotta grow and explore our growth and development and add on with a lot of productivity. Yo, man, um, Black people outnumber everybody else by 11 to 1. What's wrong with y'all, man? Get your shit together. Part of my profanity, but get it right. You know what I mean? And look, everything come in due time. I don't expect nothing to nobody. You got to have expectations within yourself. And you have to be ambitious to really want the growth and development. To acquire the discipline and the peace along the way. But yo, check it out. That's just some of the beauty of me becoming an active participant in the 5% nation, changing my behavior to a righteous being. Like the guard Rock Kim said, yo, I used to roll up. This is a hole up. Ain't nothing funny stuff smiling. And nothing move but the money, you feel me? But now I learned to earn because I'm righteous. So I'm like, I could use my mind and my supreme intelligence and acquire anything I want in life and I'll be doing it for real. I'll bring it to fruition, whatever I want, you feel me? And look, I wanna teach a lot of y'all how to do that. And yo, y'all gotta subscribe to my um paid membership. You, you don't got to, you could take my advice or you could throw it away, you feel me? But I'd rather you take it and build from it. And I wanna aid y'all. So um, I'm gonna have a paid membership program where I'm gonna teach y'all knowledge yourself first and foremost. A lot of, I'm gonna take you down a lot of different financial avenues that you can explore that will enhance your financial abundance. And um, I wanna give y'all a lot of esoterical science that a lot of people are not privy to. And then um, we can build from there. But yo, y'all tap in. My name is Lashim the Guard. I got a channel called Keep Low. That's K double E P slash L O on YouTube. I do videos on street legends. I drop knowledge to help you elevate your life. And I drop knowledge for the guards, the earth, and the babies. And yo, the way, I, the reason why I do videos on street le legends, because a lot of them, were fascinating creatures and 
they acquired a lot of finances through street endeavors and different things that they did. I'm not justifying what they did, but nobody's perfect. We all make errors and your duty as a civilized person is correct your errors. You feel me? So tap in with me. My name is Lashim Nagar. And another thing, the father of law, all praises do, the father of law, the founder of the 5% nation, Clarence 13X Smith, or Clarence Jarvis Smith, or Putin, who was always putting people in the proper place, which is the proper perspective. He said, come to the people as the people. So a lot of people gravitate to negativity faster than they would positivity. So being that I captured some of your minds and your attention with the um, videos that I do on different drug czars or different street legends. So now I've been giving you a math at the same time and just build from the math that I'll be giving you and utilize this knowledge for the growth and development of you and your family. I do this cause I love y'all. Yo, tap in with me. My name is Lashim the God. Keep loading the channel. I ain't gonna hold you, peace.